You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk about the New England Patriots, more specifically Bailey Zappi, who, for lack of a better way of putting it, went out and showed his ass last night. Plain and simple, in the first half of that game, he absolutely dissected a good Steelers defense in Pittsburgh. And what's going on with the Steelers? I mean, it's shocking. You you get obliterated by the Cardinals, and then you have the, the woe-is-me Patriots come in, and you get beat in Pittsburgh. You know, there's rumblings about Tomlin's job right now. That's actually a thing. So, as we know, Bailey Zappi's the quarterback, and I think last night, I'm just going to say it, I think he probably ended Mac Jones's career with the Patriots. You guys know I like Mac Jones. I'm a Mac Jones guy. But it's clear, whatever's happened in New England, he's fell out of favor. He has not played well. And, yeah, Mac deserved to be benched. Juju caught a ball last night, and I'm thinking, really? Mac hit you four times this season like that, and you dropped every one of them. But nonetheless, this is Bailey Zappi's gig the rest of the year. And you can bet one thing. Bill's thinking, do I have my quarterback? There's something about Bailey Zappi that that Bill Belichick likes a lot. And Zappi made a story came out. And I actually love what Zappi had to say here. Um, it's arrogant, but there's a certain confidence about it that I just like. I mean, there's that you know, you should, as the quarterback behind there, especially a young quarterback, you should be thinking, I'm capable of taking this job, whether it's Mac Jones or somebody else in front of you. Uh, I understand if it's Patrick Mahomes in front of me. I you know, I don't know that Bailey Zappi would have said this, but yeah, if you got a Mac Jones type in front of you, you got to think, I've got a chance. Now, question is, where's where's last night been in the last several games that he's gotten into? You know, maybe this is a byproduct of having another uh, a couple of practices under your belt, but this was a short week. But it's clear, one thing's clear, uh, Bill O'Brien made some adjustments last night. Started throwing a lot more on early downs. It clearly helped. And the team looked better in the first half. Now, they didn't they didn't score once in the second half. But, you know, Bill went into let me run the ball and, and try to just get out of here with a victory mode. During Amazon Prime's Thursday night football broadcast of New England's matchup with the Steelers, sideline reporter Kaylee Hart- Harton reported that Zappi never had a doubt that he would end the year as the starting quarterback for the Patriots. And look, this came out early, early in the first quarter. So it wasn't like Zappi had this game under his belt. This kid truly believed, I'm going to take this job and be the starter. Quote, Zappi said it was a wake-up call when he got cut by the Patriots in camp, Harton said. As he signed with their practice squad the very next day, he told Zach Kitley, Zappi's offensive coordinator at Western Kentucky, trust me, I've got this. Eventually, I'll be the starter. After being cut by the Patriots, Zappi reportedly had multiple teams interested in signing him, but ultimately chose to sign with the New England Patriots practice squad, believing it gave him the best opportunity to see playing time. So that tells you right there, Zappi at least had an inclination about either Mac Jones' skills were going to eventually implode him, or he could at least tell that the the organization or Bill or somebody wasn't a big Mac Jones guy. So one way or another, he thought he was going to eventually get this job. Mac Jones had already seen a decline in performance from his rookie to his sophomore season, but things were expedited for Zappi after Jones's third year turned into a disaster-ridden mess. Jones posted just 2,120 yards on 64.9% completion rate. 12, 12 interceptions to 10 touchdowns isn't going to get it done. Neither is 2-9. And, 
And the one thing I will sit here and tell you, even as a Mac Jones guy, Mac's career with New England is over. I mean, it's a wrap. Bailey Zappi will get all the starts the rest of the year. I see no reason why why the Patriots should keep Jones beyond this season. Because, because if they draft a rookie quarterback and they need a bridge, you got him. Bailey Zappi right here. That's your bridge quarterback. You might as well move on from from uh, Mac and take whatever you can get. So Zappi ultimately ended 19-28, 240, three TDs, one pick, and then ran the ball three times for 13 yards. And he spread the ball around a little bit last night, so that looked good. The other thing was, and Jabril Pepper said it, this defense, they wanted a win for Bill Belichick. We needed this, Pepper said via ESPN. I just feel good that we could get it done for Bill and the rest of the coaches. They work extremely hard trying to put us in the right places to make plays, and we did enough to get the win tonight. Peppers was then specifically asked about Belichick and basically his future. I don't really like all the flack he's getting because it's on us as players to go out there and execute, and I personally feel like the game plan has been phenomenal week in and week out. Look, I've said this. I've said it over and over. There's no confusion here, all right? There's no confusion. And in case you're wondering what Zappi, uh, he was 11 of 17 for 168, three touchdowns in the first half. I mean, he balled out in the first half. There's no confusion here. Belichick is one of the best defensive coordinators in football. He's one of the best head coaches, but he's, he's a defensive mastermind. There's no doubt about it. Now, the question is, did Bill wait too long to pull Mac Jones? You do have to come out and ask that now. Because if Zappi had this in him, or did Bill O'Brien wait too long to adjust game plans? Or all of the above? Because, you know, they've, they've pulled Mac in game. Okay, which means throughout the week, prior to those games, Mac got the bulk of the practice sessions, right? Except last week. But the point is, if you make this change six weeks ago, seven weeks ago, then maybe Bailey Zappi, with all the extra practice time, going into the third start of the year or whatever, five weeks ago, four weeks ago, maybe the Patriots have like three more wins right now. You know? Because there were certainly winnable games. And after seeing what he did last night, how the hell did they not beat the Chargers? It's kind of baffling, because the Chargers... The, the Steelers' defense is light years better than the Chargers' defense. You know, but it, it tells me something's not right somewhere with this offense. Whether it's game plans, whether it was repetition, trying to keep Mac in there, not keeping Mac in there, whatever it is. Um, Bailey Zappi, I went back to look. He had a ton of yards in college. I mean, he... I said, you want to get a guy that's played a lot of college football and that has a lot of uh, attempts and has thrown for a lot of yards. And this guy, there's no doubt about it. In fact, uh, let me just pull this up. I'm looking at it, Western Kentucky. In fact, I mean, here, here's Bailey Zappi's college, college stats. And you guys have heard me talk about this. I like to see a guy that's played a ton of college football that quarterback, he's got 51, 51 games, 2,163 attempts, which means he just went out there and kept throwing and throwing and throwing. And then he's got nearly 16,000 yards and 140 touchdowns. I mean, you know, uh, th th there's something to that. There's something to all that just pure... Reputi repetition. You're seeing it with guys like Brock Purdy right now. I mean, the fact is, and I understand Mac Jones played at Alabama, but Bailey Zappi's played way more college football. You know? I mean, he's got games against real colleges. And a lot of them. And, and, and you know, you got to think that 
Think about Bill Parcells' coaching, uh, where he comes from, the coaching tree that Bill's from. And this may be why he's had this thing for Zappy. Zappy fits into Bill Parcells' coaching rules, or at least some of them. Play a shit ton of games, have a certain completion percentage, certain touchdown to interception ratio, like Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy checked all the boxes for Bill Parcells' rules to drafting a quarterback. Well, Bailey Zappi checks a bunch of them, too. Play a boatload of games. That's the number one. In other words, don't draft a quarterback, and we've seen it, Mitchell Trubisky. You know, we've seen it with Mitchell Trubisky. We've seen it with a couple of these other guys that didn't work out. Mark Sanchez, don't draft a guy that's played less than 20 college football games. Just don't do it. Trey Lance is the big one there that, that's happened so recently that everybody wanted to see get a chance. And that's why, that's a perfect example of why I would have never drafted Anthony Richardson. And, and whoever was in his ear, I would have said, you need to go back and play a season or two in college football. Another season or two. Get another, you know... 20 games under your belt out there and become a better passer, et cetera, et cetera. Now, you know, so anyway, there. I think it's over. Last night was a wrap. Mac Jones is done in New England. He's done. Do I think Bailey Zappi's the guy in the future going forward? I don't know. I don't know. I kind of doubt it. But Barring, you know, outside of injury, barring an injury, he's going to be the guy the rest of the year. And I think Mac Jones will be going somewhere as one of these bridge slash backup quarterbacks. You know, it is what it is. I like Mac, but he's got to find a team that actually has some confidence in him. And he needs to clearly just get back into the I need I need the off season. I need training camp. I need a lot of reps, and try to build himself back up into something somewhere. The Minnesota Vikings is an interesting thought for uh, Mac Jones, Kevin O'Connell, you know, Sean McVay with the Rams. You know, I would have said Kyle Shanahan, but Mac's not getting on the field with Brock Purdy there. You know. That's just not going to happen. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.